Hey everyone, I'm Alex Griffin. I'm the videographer at Oneida Air Systems. And today we are at the Syracuse, New York chapter of Sleep in Heavenly Peace with Dave Holcraft, the shop manager. Dave, how are you, my friend? I am doing very, very well. We had a great build last night, so it's the day after is always neat. Wonderful, my friend, wonderful. So tell us what Sleep in Heavenly Peace is, like what its mission is, what it does. Sleep in Heavenly Peace is a national organization it started in 2012. Our Syracuse chapter started in around uh, 2018. Our mission is really simple. No kid sleeps on the floor in my town or our town. And so uh, with that, we make beds. We make beds for kids out of construction lumber. We smooth it all down, sand it all down. We have uh, a process in which people tap it, drill it, and assemble headboards and side rails. Then we get mattresses and bedding, which is donated by our community, and it's all done by community people. It's 100% volunteer. And then we go out and we deliver beds to children. And um, we do that to the, in the central New York uh, area, about a 30 mile radius from the center of downtown. Wonderful, how many beds have you made? We have now, we're about to hit 3,200 beds in about two weeks. 3,200 beds? Yeah, that we've built and delivered. Wow, 3,200 yeah. children able to get a bed, that's really, really nice. And the thing that goes with that, Alex, is that um, the Syracuse area is high in poverty. There are a lot of kids sleeping on the floor and we, we, don't, we deliver beds to kids that don't have a bed. All right, so it's not like we're replacing a bed they already have. We have great volunteers, we again, great community. We have a nice core of volunteers that do this on a regular basis, uh, whether they are delivering every Saturday. Every Saturday, we have a group of people, several of them retired, some of them not. They come in and they will get the beds that we built, they get their uh, addresses they gotta deliver to, um, they get the bedding and mattresses and pillows and they go off and they deliver. And they will deliver uh, on average 20 to 25 beds every Saturday. Every, every Saturday? Every Saturday. The people you do it with are some of the best people I've ever met. The kindest and nicest people ever. They don't do this for money. They do this because of what it does. How's your experience been as the shop manager working with all these volunteers? Oh, you know, it's awesome. You know, somebody says, I love being around can do people. They come in and say, what do you need to do? What do you need me to do? And they come in and they're motivated to want to do this. We sort of have the phrase humans helping humans. And so it's really nice to be around people like that. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. I know there are a lot of rewarding things that you that you talked about in, in being the shop manager here, but also being part of Sleep in Heavenly Peace, but what is the most rewarding thing? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a, a story that of one of my deliveries, um, and this will tell you exactly what the reward is. So we're going on a delivery, and I, I usually say, who's getting a bed, you know? And the kids know they're getting beds, and so they get excited about it, right? And this little girl, probably, a, I'm gonna guess, three to four years old, very, very young, and when I said, Who's getting a bed? She goes, I am. I go, where are you sleeping tonight? And she pointed to the floor. She really? pointed, she says, I sleep right here. And she looked, I looked down, there was a blanket and a little stuffed animal. And I said, no, you're not gonna sleep on the floor. She goes, no, I sleep right here. So we make the bed and the little girl lighting up, she's, this bed's real. So she gets up in the bed and sits on the, on the comforter. And I looked at her again and I said, where are you sleeping tonight? And she says, I'm gonna sleep right here. That's the reward. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about this shop setup, almost like an assembly line, right? It is very much an assembly line. Um, and, and again, we start, we're, we're, we're fortunate that our national organization, Sleep in Heavenly Peace, they've developed a process for us to be, be able to simplify um, taking construction lumber, be able to cut it up, sand it, tap it, drill it, assemble it, and stain it. Um, such that you're able to make beds. Another piece about this on, on the woodworking side, and especially on, on an Oneida air system side of things, is that we take construction lumber again, but then we have to smooth it down enough that a child can sleep on this bed and be around that lumber. You don't wanna just say, hey, I'm taking it, chopping it up, and then put it together. No, you wanna smooth it down, you wanna be able to sand it down, such that, yeah, the eight-year-old hand can rub across that, that uh, piece of lumber uh, on that headboard or that side rail. It's really good. Moving on to uh, the products from Oneida that you have. Which products uh, from Oneida uh, do you have and what tools are they hooked up to? We have a, a, a Supercell dust collection system. It's actually sitting behind you uh, in that closet. And the reason why it's in the closet is because we insulate it so that we contain the noise. The reason why we contain the noise as much as we can is because we are running currently running eight uh, sanders, palms, uh, orbital palm sanders on it with hoses from Oneida Air System and a, a duct system above our ceiling 
um, that you can see. Our arrangement we had before, space-wise, it wasn't working so well. The way we were able to take the duct system and move it up above instead of having hoses all on the floor and stuff really helped with our process of people moving lumber. Although it's not 100% you're gonna not have some dust, I'll tell you, a lot of our dust goes into a drum that Supercell sits on top of that I empty quite often, so it's collecting a lot of, a lot of dust. And the other thing, it's not just sawdust, it's fine dust that we're, we're doing yes. because it's, we're sanding it. So we're not, you know, we do have a chop saw that, yes, that's sawdust, okay? But when it comes to palm sanders and you're sanding pine, you're sanding, you're making fine dust. So that's, that's, that's an important thing. Really nice, yeah. really nice, my friends. So I just wanted to ask, why did you choose the Supercell specifically as opposed to one of our other products? Oh, that was, uh, we, we spoke with your engineers. We are experts at making beds here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, you know, it's a, we knew it was always a, a, a challenge because, again, all the sanding that we do, um, that we said, hey, you know, we want to see what we can do. And we looked around and one of the guys says, you know, I know the air. Uh, we really want to talk to them. It, it does a job as far as collecting a lot of dust. So why did you choose an Oneida Air Systems product. You guys are one of the better ones in the industry, really. Um, uh, you're also local for us. You're, you're, you're right here near town. So we actually, our, our first exposure to you was the dust deputy. And um, that sort of got us talking to you a little bit. And it was always the, you know, geez, we're kind of drooling because boy, we'd like to get a better dust collection system in here. Again, being a volunteer organization, you know, enough in the budget, not for profit. And that's when uh, your engineers helped us. We went through a couple part, parts of process, probably did that about three, four times, going back and forth, tweaking this, tweaking that, um, and really researching and investigating. And we came up with what we have today. And then uh, we got all the parts and stuff and we put it, we, we installed it. One big question that I think would just really be uh, helpful to our viewers out there, especially because you're working with volunteers, but also you're giving these beds to kids. How important is dust collection in general? Think about it right away. Okay, and again, not being an expert at this. Okay, you got dust in the air and you breathe, right? So you really don't want to breathe a lot of that dust in the air. So we do have mass and stuff, but you know, that's, that's, only can do so much you don't want to have all this dust in the world plus you have to clean it up all the time right so and you got your equipment that doesn't like dust. so dust is not a really a friendly thing now the amount that we produce you know we did a, a, a build last night um, open community build where f folks in the community were here and we made 35 beds last night 35, 35 beds 35 and they did it in about three hours okay but you got 14 people in here with sanders going think about how much dust that can be if that's not collected you can't, you can't breathe in, you can't see in here. So you gotta be able to collect that and get that out of the air. Now, is it 100%? No, it's not 100% because it's dust. Without it, without dust, dust collection, we wouldn't be able to do this. Wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, wonderful, my friend. I'm glad you're having success here at Sleep in Heavenly Peace with your operations, but also with your Oneida products. You know, American-made products, trying to go for the best quality possible. So thank you for investing in our products, yeah, all right? We appreciate it. And everyone that. at home, be sure to check out Sleep in Heavenly Peace, both the Syracuse chapter and the full nonprofit. We're gonna leave links in the description below. And be sure to check out all our products here at Oneida Air Systems, the industry leader in dust collection, proudly manufacturing in the USA since 1993. For more information, visit oneida-air.com.